Hi, I'm Paris, and I've wondered for a long time with canned vegetables, there are some that are standard and some that are no salt added, how much difference does it really make? Because I assumed most of the salt was in the liquid that's added to the vegetable. Once you pour that out, I assumed most of the salt was gone. Boy, was I wrong. I wondered about this for quite a while, finally went and researched it and found a university did a study of this, and I will link to that down below this video so you can check out the exact numbers for yourself. But just to give you an idea of this, this can of peas with no salt added, they do add some sugar, but basically it's just peas, water, and a little bit of sugar, has 10 milligrams of sodium per serving, two servings. So this can, 20 milligrams of sodium. Presumably that's what naturally occurs in peas. This can, same size, right? Same peas inside, and they still add the sugar, but they add salt to it. This, with the two servings, this can has 760 milligrams of salt. 20, 760. But I thought, well, because uh, my daughter especially likes the regular one, she doesn't care for the no salt added, and they do taste nice and salty. I thought, well, at least we drain them first, so probably that gets rid of most of that salt. No, the university study shows that when you drain the vegetables, and it's different per vegetable, but on average with peas, you get rid of about 5% of the salt. 5%. So this is still over 700 milligrams of salt in this can, and still 20 in this. Obviously, most of the salt that's added in the liquid that they pack this in gets absorbed by the vegetable, and there's no way to get it out other than to eat it and have your body process that sodium. Check out the link down below this video to see the university study, to find out the exact numbers, and to see how other vegetables fared in this test. Most of them are pretty similar. It's surprising and disappointing how little of the salt you actually get rid of by pouring off the liquid in the can. I'll be back soon with more health videos. You can keep checking back for those or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review.